Hey guys, Nick Prinslow here with DPA Auctions. Today, I'm gonna to show you the proper way to take pictures of your equipment. Some of the key things to think of when you're taking pictures of equipment is you wanna make sure that it's out in the open so we can get a good 360 degree view of the piece of equipment. You wanna make sure it's clean and well represented. And then also something to think about is when you are taking the pictures, you want the pictures to be visually informative. Really think about what you're taking pictures of and what you want that picture to convey. Because the ultimate goal here, guys, is by taking the pictures, you wanna have the buyer feel like when they're looking at those pictures, they're actually standing in front of the piece of the equipment themselves. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take pictures of this Peterbilt Semi. We got the sun facing over here. So lighting would be important. This is the first picture I would take of this piece of equipment right here. We always try and get a front corner angle shot to best represent the first picture. This will be the picture that shows up as the main picture on the catalog when people go online to see the piece of equipment. And you wanna make sure that you get the piece in the full shot of the frame. Don't cut any of the piece of equipment off. Once I get the overall shots, then you get into more details. When you're talking about a semi, what you want to do is you want to get the tire size, you want to get the tread, how many stacks are on the back, is it air ride or spring suspension, and then after that we'll get all the fuel tanks and um, tires and rims, and then after that what you do is we'll open up the hood, see what kind of engines on inside, and you'll take pictures of that. And then we'll go inside the cab and get all the details from there. What people will want to know is I'm taking pictures of the transmission, all the important gauges that are on the dash. Probably one of the main things is, is we want to check and see how many miles are on the truck or how many hours are on the engine. Just basically all the important features on the inside of a truck is what we're trying to take pictures of so that people that are buying it can see what they're, see what they're buying and see what all the specs are. Suppose if you look at the average, we'll probably take anywhere from between um, 50 to 60 pictures, depending on the piece of equipment. And, and by that, I mean if you're taking pictures of a, of a shop air compressor, you, you don't need as many photos of a piece of equipment as that as you would a combine. It's an internet auction, so the more photos you take, the better represented the piece of equipment will be, and, and the less questions the buyer will typically have to ask. When we're talking about a 360 degree overview, depending on the size of the equipment, we'll either use the two-step or the three-step rule. Now, what I mean by that is, is after you take your first picture, and like I said, make sure the picture's in the whole frame, take one, two, three steps over, take your next picture. One, two, three steps over, take the next picture. We feel that um, for the overview, that this gives a good representation and a good amount of pictures for our customers. You're going to be using your cell phone, which a lot of you will, to take pictures. What I don't want to see is I don't want you guys to be taking pictures with this. I realize it's a natural way to take a photo because that's how you hold your phone. But when we're taking pictures of our cell phones, I want it to be horizontal. This takes a better overall picture of the equipment. It looks better and it appears way better visually when people are looking on the website. Another thing that's important too when you're taking pictures is to try not to fall in a hole first thing. Second thing is, is every single piece of equipment has a make and model, and a lot of times it's represented by stickers on the piece of equipment. If you can take pictures of that as well, that also helps. I mean, every, every detail that we have, we put in print, but they also like to see it visually as well. It's the same old thing. They can believe you until you're blue in the face, but until they see it themselves, sometimes that's better. <laughs> 